Welcome to Electron Line. There's a very interesting property about eigenvectors. It turns out if you multiply the original matrix by its eigenvector, you will get a resulting matrix that is either the eigenvector or a multiple of the eigenvector. And it doesn't matter if it's a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three matrix or any size matrix. So let's see if we can make this happen. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply our original matrix, 1, 1, 2, 2, it's a simple matrix here, times the eigenvector that we found in the previous video, 1 and 2, and let's see what we get when we multiply these two together. So we should get a 2 by 1 matrix, two rows, one column. And so we have a 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 is 3. And we have 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2, that's 2 plus 4, which is 6. I said, well, wait a minute, you didn't get back your original eigenvector, but notice the ratio of the x to the y value in the eigenvector was 1 to 2, and that ratio is still there. It's 3 to 6 is the same as 1 to 2. So therefore, this can be simplified by dividing both the top and the bottom by 3, because after all, these are ratios between x and y values. So this can be written as 1 over 2, which gives us back the original eigenvector, which means that this is a legitimate, correct eigenvector for that matrix. Let's do it for a 3 by 3 and see if it works there as well. Again, we found this to be the solution of the eigenvector to a particular eigenvalue for this particular matrix. So again, we should be able to multiply these two together and get a similar result. Let's try that. So this will take a little bit longer. It's a bigger matrix, but it should work. And we multiply and then times the eigenvector, 2, 1, 1. And let's see what we get. So again, this will end up with a, a 3 by 1 vector. And let me expand a little bit so you can see what's going on. So we have 11 times 2, which is 22. 11 times minus 11 times 1 is minus 11. And minus 7, that's minus 7. So that's all one single element. I just want to write it down so you can see it. That's one element. So we have 14 minus 14. Oh, sorry. 14 minus 7. And minus 5. I'll write these a little bit closer together so you can see that they're actually one element, right? Like this. And then finally we get 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 3, and minus 1. Which is equal to, when we simplify that, we have that's 11 minus 7, which is 4. That's 7 minus 5, which is 2, and 3 minus 1, which is 2. Again, at first sight, you say, well, you did not get the same vector, but that's not really true because these are relationships between x, y, and z. x is twice as big as y, y is equal to z. x is twice as big as y, y is equal to z, which means that this could again be reduced by dividing all of the elements by 2, or all the values for x, y, and z by 2, we get 2, 1, and 1, which means that yes, since that's equal to this, we know that this is a legitimate eigenvector for this particular matrix. That's pretty neat stuff. So now that when you have an eigenvector and you're wondering if that is the correct eigenvector for a particular matrix, all you have to do is multiply it together and see if you get a ratio that is the same as what you started with. And that's how it's done.